In this video, I'll show you how to package all or part of an After Effects project file so you can share it with somebody else or reuse it inside of another After Effects project. When you import anything into After Effects, behind the scenes, it's creating a link to that file wherever it's saved, whether that's on your computer, a hard drive, or cloud storage. This includes anything that you import, so artwork from Illustrator or Photoshop, audio files, video footage, and so on. If you move a file or rename a folder that it's in after it's already been imported into After Effects, you'll get a missing footage error. By the way, you can fix this by right-clicking on the missing file in After Effects and going to Replace Footage, then File, and then navigating to the new location of the file. Because imported files are linked into After Effects, if you want to share your project with somebody else, you can't just share the .aep file. You'll need to share all the files that go along with it as well, otherwise they'll just see something like this. This is the case if you've imported anything into your After Effects project file. However, if your entire After Effects project is made up of things like native shape layers and text, then everything is contained in the .aep file, so you can just share this and you're good to go. If you're organized and you kept your After Effects project file and everything that you imported into it in the same folder, you can just share this entire folder. You may need to zip the folder by right-clicking and choosing Compress in order to upload or send the folder. When someone else has the entire folder, they can open the .aep file and After Effects will know where to find all the linked files since the folder structure hasn't changed, even though the location of the folder has. If you're not that organized, you can ask After Effects to collect everything that you've imported. So let's look at how to do this. First, you want to go up to File, and then down to Dependencies, and then over to Collect Files. From here, you just want to make sure that you have For All Comp selected. This will make sure that it's collecting everything in your After Effects project. If you want, you can choose to reduce the project, which will just not include anything that hasn't actually been used in a composition. And then it's nice to have the folder pop up when you're done. So from here, just click Collect. And then you can navigate to where you want to save this folder, and you can even rename it, and then just hit save. Once it's done, it will have created this folder with an AEP project file in it, and then also a footage folder. So if you open that up, you can see everything that you had imported in your After Effects project. For me, that was a bunch of Illustrator files. So it's got all of that in there, and if I double click to open up this file, you can see that everything is in there and it looks exactly like my original file. This process has copied all of my files, so the original files are still intact exactly how I had them, wherever I had that saved. There's also a way to collect only certain compositions from your After Effects project file. This can be useful if you only need to share part of an animation project with somebody else, or maybe you want to reuse an animation from a certain composition inside of another After Effects project file. You can't have multiple After Effects projects open at the same time. You can copy native shape layers or text from one project, then open another project and paste them. But this doesn't work with imported files like Illustrator artwork. So let's look at how to collect one or more compositions from your After Effects project. So let's say that I want to reuse these scissors in another After Effects project. So I just want to collect that composition. So I'm going to select the composition over in the project panel, go up to File, Dependencies, and then Collect Files. From here, you want to make sure that the Collect Source Files is set to four selected comps. So anything that you've selected in the project panel, which you can select multiple things, will be collected. And if you choose Reduce Project, it'll just make sure that there's nothing extra. And you can see down here that one file will be collected. And then I'm just going to hit Collect. And you can choose where you want to save that. So let's just name this Scissors and then hit save. And then it will create that folder, so scissors folder. Inside of that, you'll have your footage, which is just the scissors file. And then if I open up this icons file, the project file, it will just have that scissors composition in it. Now let's say that you want to import this scissors composition into another After Effects project file. So I'm just going to create a new file just for the sake of example, but you could do the same thing with a project file that already has stuff going on in it. From here, I'm just going to right click in the project panel, go down to import, and then file. And then I'm just going to navigate to where I saved that scissors folder, 
and I'm going to select that entire folder and then I'm just going to hit open. It's going to import the entire folder here and if we toggle that open you can see here's the composition and if I just double click that here's that composition with that illustrator artwork already linked in. Alright so that's how you can collect an After Effects project file to share or reuse. Thanks so much for watching and until next time happy animating!